Good morning, Bearcats. I'm Cameron. And I'm Brayley. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, and you're watching Cats News. The SOSU Upward Bound program will be in the cafeteria today during all lunches to give information and to explain all the benefits of their program. Make sure you speak with the Upward Bound representative if you are interested. The next HOSA meeting will be this Thursday, November 17th. The morning meeting is at 8 a.m. in room C206, and the afternoon meeting is at 4 p.m. on the learning stairs. If you are a HOSA member, make sure you attend one of those times. Communities in School is having an angel tree for Sherman High School students. SHS students and families who may be struggling financially this holiday season uh, can scan the QR code and register to receive CIS angel tree gifts. The information you provide will be completely confidential. If you think you may qualify, sign up now. Sign ups in November 18th. Are you interested in playing chess? If so, come to A314 Mr. Bat's Room and join Chess Club. The club meets every Monday afternoon from 4 to 4.30. Make sure to also join the Remind. Either text to 81010, the code 3A9GFK, or type it in the Remind app with the name SHS Chess Club. Today is the last day to submit a name for Hope Squad nominations. If you think there is someone that could save a life, nominate them. All you have to do is scan the QR code and fill out the form to have them considered for a Hope Squad member. The month of November is Native American Heritage Month. In honor of this, the library is having a special presentation by Sherman High School teacher, Ms. Hamill. Ms. Hamill will talk about genealogy and her own family history, along with cultural traditions and other cool activities. This event is happening today on the third floor of the library during 3A with new presentations happening at the start of each lunch period. All students and staff are welcome. If you are a senior, don't forget to keep filling out those scholarship forms. There's a lot of money out there and available. All you have to do is just get it. Just scan the QR code for the mother load of scholarship opportunities. Sherman High School is hosting a Giving Thanks Assistance Food program that helps SHS students and families who might be struggling this holiday season. If you may need assistance this Thanksgiving, scan the QR code or pick up a form in a counselor office. If you want to donate or help in any way, or maybe you're looking for more information, contact Communities in School Coordinator Doris Crockett in room 340.4. Now let's take a look at the weather. Texas is staying pretty chilly with the low temperatures this week, so make sure to bundle up. For the rest of today, it will be mostly cloudy till the sun comes up a little into the evening. Tomorrow will again be chilly with the high only getting to 52. Then Thursday, it will be sunny all round. But don't let it get to, to you. The high will only be 54. Now what do you get when you cross a turkey with a ghost? I don't know. A poultry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's all we have for Cats News today. Have a terrific Tuesday and we'll see you tomorrow.